one day, one day. Excited, new future, let's get it, yeah. Because I'm a massive, massive social person, mate. And this lockdown, I found it really tough because I've been stuck at home a lot. We've been the last ones to get the vaccine. We've always had, we've always been the blame. We've been the blame for the spread of the COVID. And it's just nice to get freedom and kind of like push it all off. I've had my vaccination and we're obviously young people, so I feel like we've sort of missed out of like a year of our lives so it's just great to be around people again Londoners are, have to wear masks. Like, what's 
stopping the other people outside? Do we have some special blood in us that stop like gets us COVID? But yeah, <laughs> ridiculous. seeing significant rise in cases and we have been pretty much ever since um, mid-June we've been seeing cases rising but of course that's not yet translated into big rises in hospital admissions and deaths partly because of the success of the vaccination campaign of course following this July 19th relaxation I would expect that those hospital admissions and deaths uh, will go up further I don't think they will peak at the same levels they did back in January but I will expect there will be some sort of rise as we move into August There comes a point after so many have been vaccinated when further restrictions no longer prevent hospitalizations and deaths, but simply delay the inevitable. And so we have to ask ourselves the question, if not now, when?